Money was just confusing. I didn't know really how to make ends meet that I had created for myself. I knew it had to be a better way. I would go to work every day and I would get paid on every other Friday and it just, it wasn't enough. And that was just the biggest thing for me. I knew that there was some way that I could enjoy my life better than just going to work every day. And so when I came across Financial Peace University, it was the first time money had ever made sense to me. My life started to open up, but I definitely had to work hard to get to that place. And just doing the steps, no matter how hard they were, finding an accountability partner, he forced me to get a second job. You have to have another job, Tracy. You're $10 away from disaster. And it was true. But I feel like once you get it, the budgeting piece of it, you find money. This is the first time I knew what to do with the finances, and everything has changed. Everything is completely different now. Well, Tracy, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, and sharing your story, because this whole episode is about how to get a raise. Yeah. And we say around here all the time that when you first start to budget, mm -hmm. it feels like you got a raise. Yes. So I want to know from you, because you're a budgeter now, which we'll talk about in a second, <laughs> but what was life like before you started budgeting? I was just confused all the time. Mm -hmm. I would work Monday through Friday, every other Friday get a paycheck, and it just would be gone by Friday afternoon, and I just <laughs> didn't know where it went, or I just didn't feel totally good about my life. I just felt like there had to be something else. It had to be a, a little bit more. Yes, were you stressed a lot, do you feel Always, like? mm -hmm. always trying to figure out. There were so many days the choice was between, do I eat, do I feed the dog? Oh, wow, Or yeah. do we pay the utility bill, or do we go put gas in the car? There were always, trying to choose one over the other. Yeah, and that's like your basic needs there, yeah, right? Exactly. That, yeah, you had. Yeah. And and so, I mean, I guess I could put you in that percentage that 78% of Americans live. Yes. Paycheck to paycheck. Absolutely. So you are the true, true. tried and true living <laughs> to paycheck. Did you ever think when you're in that, like the thought of not being like that, did you think that was possible? Or was it like all those people can do it, but like there's just, there's no way that my situation can change because it felt so in the moment, so stressful? It definitely felt suffocating for sure. But because I worked in the medical field, I knew that was a cure. <laughs> I just didn't <laughs> yes. know what the cure was. I just knew there had to be a better way mm. because I would see the people who were not living paycheck to paycheck, and that was my true inspiration. So what was the moment that you're like, okay, I got to change, and what, what got you on a different path? I started you know, I always say YouTube is the new Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> so I just started researching and researching and researching, and I had come across the Dave Ramsey show, and mm -hmm. I found the Rachel Cruz show <laughs> on YouTube, and I just started watching it. And I moved to Nashville, and the first year I moved here, I was so excited when I realized I was actually in Nashville and that the studio that I had been watching on YouTube was in yeah. Brentwood. So a friend and I went on my birthday um, two years ago, and we got to see the studio. I got my picture taken with Dave Ramsey, Anthony O'Neill, and I got a quick shot of you leaving out of the studio oh, that day. Out right yeah. <laughs> of the studio that day, and I just thought, I'm going to mm. change my life. I had the visual now. I had the vision board photo of standing next to Dave Ramsey. I'm like, oh, I can do this. I'm too close now. And it took four paychecks, and that's kind of where I always get breakdown in my story yeah. because it took four paychecks for me to save the $100 to go to Financial Peace University. And it was the best <laughs> four paychecks I've ever had to spend on that. And that's when my life began to change. I went every Sunday morning. I did not miss a session. And all the pieces fell together then. Well, I think that's so powerful because I think a big part, you know, I feel doing my job is like I see people, you know, I'll be at a big speaking event with mm -hmm. thousands of people, and I'm like, I just want to give everyone everything. <laughs> but I but I feel like what you just said though, the sacrifice you made mm -hmm. to save up, it took mm -hmm. four paychecks. Mm -hmm. And you remember it. Like it was yesterday. The four you said four paychecks <laughs> mm -hmm. to save up the money to change your life mm -hmm. and do something different. And when you have skin in the game, yeah. things start to change a little Absolutely. bit. And I think that Absolutely. that's important that you made the sacrifice to start the sacrifice, if that makes sense. <laughs> Absolutely. So in Financial Peace University, you started to learn to budget. Correct. So talk to me about like the first couple of months you started budgeting. Was it like perfect? Were there some mess ups? Like what, what did life look like then? <laughs> so my um, first 
I had to find an accountability partner because yes. I'm single. And I sat down and had a budget meeting with him. So, so I mean, good. I was really doing the things that you have to do. The first budget meeting, he was almost like a principal. He was like, Tracy, what what is this? <laughs> <laughs> you are $10 away from losing everything. And I was wow. like, I know, Travis, I know. And he was like, you have to get another job. I was like, no, I can't get another job because I'm single and then I can't be walking my dog at night and all these, mm. oh my goodness, every excuse in the book. And finally he put his foot down and I was like, okay. And I went out and I found a part-time job. I had to increase my income. It just would not work for me in what I had because it was such a mess. Yeah. It was such a mess. Yes. I had to do something else. Oh, mm-hmm. Thank God for Travis, right? I, know, I we mean, we Travis. all need a Travis in our life. Seriously, though, I'm like, what? And that's huge to say because mm-hmm. we do talk about it. I mean, like, it takes a village to help. Absolutely. And getting people that isn't your shopping buddy, yeah. not your girlfriend oh, yeah. that you lunch with, like, but legitimately someone mm-hmm. that is willing to say to you, yes. what is this? I mean, yes. loving you really well, maybe a little harsh, but but worth it, and that's Absolutely. it. And so, and so you had to get that second job, which I was probably to. a big sacrifice. It so was huge. you're still in that second job, I right? Am. I am. And so that's because you are on baby step two. I am on baby step two. So you're paying off the debt. I am. I have done amazing. I think I've done amazing yeah, this past yes. year because I only have two debts left. Okay. So I will Friday be able to pay off my car early. Yes, you did, I'm Tracy. So Seriously. Oh, I'm so excited. Three months early. Yeah. You'll, you'll, yeah. You won't have a car payment. I would not have that car payment anymore. So then you'll have one debt left? I'll have that- one debt that's extremely sizable. But the great thing about it is in Financial Peace University, because that debt is so big, yeah. I have the tools of really how to get that done in one year. So my goal totally. is this time next calendar year, I'm debt free. Yes, I love that. Okay, so I have people on the show all the time that are just where you are, and I always tell them come back on the show okay. and tell us what it felt like after your debt free yeah. screen. And so you're going to be able to get a big raise once you have no payments because that income will come in and that'll be yours. Absolutely. But do you feel like now that you've been budgeting? and that you're intentional with where every dollar is going. Obviously, you've made incredible progress in so many ways. <laughs> Do you feel like you got a raise? Absolutely. Purchasing things without guilt, to me, was a huge raise in itself, too. Mm. It's just been truly mind-blowing and amazing. Wow. Just not even having late fees. Mm. In current. I mean, yes. It's yeah. a raise in itself. For sure. So what categories in your budget? I know you're saying a couple— did you were you able to adjust and be absolutely like, yeah. absolutely um, I am vegan I'm able to do fifty dollars a week and that's the sweet spot yes. I feel really good doing see that, and so. I love that because we talk about all the time that you can eat healthy yeah. while on a budget <laughs> yeah. but that is a priority for you that's mm-hmm. the other thing about budgeting that I love is I'm like it's your budget it's your Correct. life and you get to shape it around not only being wise with money but around what your lifestyle needs and requires. And one of those for you yeah. is 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 being vegan, right? And so Absolutely. you're able to up your grocery category yes. more because other, other other categories were in control oh, no. and you could lower. Yeah. So, oh, well, you're such a testament, Tracy, of, of how to do it well. So what would you tell even yourself or someone watching out there who thinks, oh, I'm living paycheck to paycheck. Like, there's no way I can turn my situation around. I would definitely say make the decision to— Go to Financial Peace University. It is very uncomfortable. And I could say I do feel like a gazelle that I've run a true (laughs) marathon. But if you just actually do the steps the way they are designed, you will see success. It works. So yeah. from the marathon, has it been worth the run? Oh, goodness, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm still running, but uh, well, maybe we're just a, three, a 5K now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can see the finish line. Yeah. You can see it, and it's worth yeah. the run. Awesome. Yeah. You guys, if you want this progress, I mean, <laughs> try and true. Like, here's an example that you can do it. But you know what? First, you have to decide, I'm going to do it. And she took four paychecks. <laughs> that sacrifice and so intentional to completely change her life. And so if you want to go through Financial Peace University, click the link below. Not only is it the proven plan to guide you and help you guys gain control of your money, but it also opens up so many other ways to have conversations with friends and family members and to get you and your family on the right track. So, Tracy, girl, I'm so glad you came on Thank the show. You. Seriously. Thank you for having me. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank you.